Hi everyone, my name is Shandy and I am the Digital Marketing and Creative Coordinator here at Patio Essentials and today I'm going to be helping to answer one of our most frequently asked questions this season, which is how to open and fill this new style of tabletop torch that we have. So I'm going to be going over the instructions on how to fill your torch and how to light it. And then I'm also going to compare it to a standard tabletop torch so that you can see where the differences are to help make it easier to fill this new type of tabletop torch. Okay, so this here is one of our more typical tabletop torches. It's actually our four-in-one torch, so it can be used as a tabletop torch, and it also comes with a pole to use as a standard five-foot torch, and then a deck clamp to clamp onto your deck as well. But you can see the wick up here, which is pretty standard for most torch types, and you just fill up the fuel canister, and then you light the wick here. But with this new style of tabletop torch, we call it a puck wick torch. So as you can see, there's no wick visible. This here is the fuel canister, and when you pull it out, the vessel is empty. So you are not going to be pouring your torch fuel into the vessel. You're gonna be pouring it into this fuel canister here. So to open your fuel canister, you just pull the top up here, and then you'll see a cotton pad with some metal mesh over it, and that's actually your wick for this type of torch. We call it a puck wick, and it's flat and inside the fuel canister, versus on this standard type of torch wick, you have the wick that sticks up, and it's just kind of a long stick shape, and that's what you light. But here, you can't even see the wick. So in order to light it, we're gonna put the fuel canister back in the vessel. And I have some of our Patio Essentials Citronella scented torch fuel. And I also have a funnel. You don't need a funnel because these have a pretty wide mouth on them, which makes it easy. And then we also have an easy pour cap on all of our torch fuel, which you can see here, which also makes it easier to pour. But I prefer just to have the funnel just to be safe. When you first bring your torch home, there's going to be a sticker on the side of the fuel canister that tells you how much fuel to add. And it says to add 5.12 fluid ounces. So if you really wanna be exact and you have a scale, you can set this on there, zero it out, and add your torch fuel. But I'm just gonna do it by hand. So if you're gonna do the same, one of the best things that you can do is start by adding too little torch fuel. If you add too much torch fuel to this type of torch wick, then all of the fuel is just going to sit on top of the torch. And when you try and light it, that excess fuel is what's going to burn, but the wick itself won't catch fire. So if you add too little and it won't catch because you've not added enough, you can just add a little bit more. Whereas if you add too much, you're gonna have to burn all of that off before you can get your torch to burn. So first, you're going to take this topper off again, open up your torch fuel, and since I'm using the funnel, I'm gonna set the funnel right here. If you don't have the funnel, you're just gonna pour straight into it. Then once you have your torch fuel into your canister, you're gonna let it sit and absorb into the wick for about 10 minutes before you try to light it. Now that our wick has had about 10 minutes to absorb the torch fuel, we're gonna go ahead and light it. So take your topper off again if you replaced it. And whenever you're lighting a torch, we always recommend using a long lighter like this versus a short lighter or some matches, um, especially with this type of torch because you are going to need to hold the lighter over the wick for about 30 seconds to get the whole wick to catch. So you just click your lighter and hold it over the wick. And once you start to see some flame with this type of wick, we do recommend that you keep the lighter over it for a little bit longer to ensure that the entire wick is catching instead of just a portion of it because it will blow out if it is just a portion. All right, and then our torch is lit, so now we get to enjoy it. One of the things that we love and we think that you'll love as well about this style of torch is that it just gives you a completely different flame than a standard torch wick does. 
as you can see, the flame sort of dances around in the mouth of the torch and it gives this really cool effect. Because this style of torch does have a larger flame, we recommend keeping it further away from any object that could catch flame. So I have moved it further away from the citronella candle than when I was demonstrating how you light it, and it those two things are the only things on the tray. If it's a really windy day, the flame is just going to get even larger, and these are pretty resistant to the wind, so a really big gust of wind isn't going to put out your torch, it's just going to give it a larger flame. So if it's a really windy day, we do recommend not using this style of torch on that day. Whenever you're done enjoying your outdoor space and you're ready to go back inside, to extinguish the torch, you're simply going to take the topper and drop it on. You don't have to get it on exactly. You can see that I have it a little bit lopsided. It's still going to extinguish the fire. And then once you have it out, you're gonna remove it and you're gonna let it cool for about five minutes before replacing it so that it's protected from water and wind when it's not in use. With any of our products, we do recommend that if you really want to extend the life that you get out of them, bringing them into the garage or into the shed in between uses to keep them from getting any excess of water or heat damage. I hope that this video has helped you figure out how to light your torch and now you can go enjoy it.